Hi there, everyone. My name is Brittany Saylor. I'm a senior general studies major with a focus area in education and applied science um, for the associates. I recently graduated in the spring with my associates in applied science for preschool education. Preschool. Should it be required? This is the benefits to early education by myself. Why did I choose this topic? I am very passionate about education and especially the education of our infants, toddlers, and preschool age children. I hope that as I write this paper, I gain new knowledge not only for myself about my career and why is this so important to the future generations, but also how I can inform families and future parents to of the many benefits of preschool holds for children in their future. Introduction. Preschool still remains to be a non-requirement for children entering kindergarten. However, elementary children are being expected to perform at higher standards than ever before without previous schooling. So how do we fix this and hope our children are advanced? My research. My research has shown me multiple opinions on this topic. Some are for the requirement of preschool programs, while others share their opinion on why they think children should be able to just enter kindergarten based on their home knowledge and where they are placed on their entrance test. The majority of the research I have found has led me to believe that it would be the best to make preschool a requirement because of it is very beneficial to the children. For reasons as follows. The first main point of my paper is children advance and excel early in preschool years. The evidence I have chosen three points to talk about is according to my research children who attend preschool at had a higher range score in their math ability compared to those children that did not attend preschool. Second, evidence, parents see the difference in their children both academically as well as emotionally when they attend preschool in their early ages. This can mean parents that have shelter children who are antisocial um, getting out there and then they develop their academic skills by talking with one another. Third evidence is children who attend preschool turned out to have much higher test scores and achieve developmental standards with ease. Main point number two, children learn social and emotional skills in the classroom. Evidence one, research has shown that children who attend preschools and daycares have a much easier time tra transitioning into school and leaving their parents because they had made friends and learned how to interact with their peers. Evidence number two, teachers are, main, are the main piece to making the child feel comfortable in the classroom while they are away from their loved ones and become a big part of the children's lives themselves. According to the interviews in this research, parents and teachers agree that children gain more social and emotional skills while attending preschool. Children will have a better communication with teachers and parents and really learn how to express their emotions towards one another. The best way to build social and emotional skills for a child is to get them interacting with one another. If we don't do that early on, kindergarten is going to be a lot more harder for teachers and parents to separate when they go to class. Main point number three. Preschools should become more standardized to fit with the elementary standards to help excel programs and their children. Evidence 1. Early development can lead to high, higher test scores and better developmental skills. These early stages of development can lead to a better turnout for kindergarten enrollment ages to meet the standards and qualifications. When preschoolers are given state standards that align with elementary schools, we can prepare children to properly meet the state requirements sooner. Evidence three, standardized testing could be more of an ease or even eliminated long term down the road if preschool programs became mandatory educational change sooner. The best way to explain this all to you is if we standardize preschools and make them fit along with elementary schools and change the curriculum, we can better teach the kids specifically what they need to know rather than overlapping with what kindergarten teachers teach their kids that also did not go to preschool compared to those that did.